Quarantine crusher number two is gonna happen right now. Let's sit down on your butt first. We're gonna start with mobility. Uh, you're gonna sit on your butt, we're gonna do a seated knee rotation. All you're gonna do is put your feet nice and wide, and we're gonna stretch your hips out a little bit. So all you're gonna do is bring both knees pointing to the right. Try to have that inside of that left knee touch the ground and the outside of that right knee touch the ground, and then you rotate to the left. Yeah, right there. Now, if you're not able to come all the way down, that's fine. Just, just do what you can. Now, Paige used to do ballet and all that, right? Yes. Yeah, so she, she's super flexible. But uh, go side to side, it's really good for your hips. And right, she's wearing socks, but you know, try to keep your feet uh, planted into the ground. You're gonna lay back down, right, from this right here. Put your hands nice and wide, and put the back side of your hands against the ground. So palms facing up, and your hands just a little higher. Then bring your knees 90 degrees up in the air, like that. Now point your feet straight towards you. So like that, really flex it. Now you're gonna keep those knees together and those ankles together and then rotate. Exhale as you rotate your knees to one side. Exhale and then try to keep those knees together. Try to have your ankles and your knee touch the ground. Right there. And then bring it all the way to the side, right there. So then inhale, exhale. Right there, cool. As you get comfortable with this, you wanna just go a little faster. Just go side to side right here. This is good for your back, guys. I mean, every quarantine crusher workout is gonna have a different mobility part. Um, you know, the mobility stuff, you should do that every day, really. Uh, mobility, mobility is fun, because it makes you feel so good. All right, now, this next exercise is gonna be upper body. It's gonna be very tough for me, you ready? Yes. Yeah, cool. All right, so we're gonna get into a push-up position. And basically, let me show you real quick. You get into a push-up position right here. Right here, curl your elbows in. You're gonna come down and then bring it to the front, get on your shoelaces, and then bring it back like that. I just wanted to show off and see if I could do it. So let's get to a push-up position real quick. Uh, regular push-up position, like a pro. On this one, uh, you can put your feet wide like this. Fine. No, that's fine, that's fine, you So you see how our hands are not too much to the front. Everything is a straight line from the shoulders to your uh, heels. You're gonna come down into about a halfway right there. You see your triceps are on fire right here. A little lower. She's gonna dive to the front, getting on her shoelaces. So really get on, getting on her feet, and then dive backwards. So she's really pivoting through here. So you should you probably should wear shoes, and then pivoting back. Now this is all abs, staying low, staying low. This is all abs and triceps, right there. Yeah, where are you feeling it? Triceps? Yep. Backside, boom, yep. right there. Cool, all right, up next, catch your breath real quick. We're gonna do, uh, we're actually gonna stay on the ground. Get into a push-up position, and you're gonna do a cross-body mountain climber. Now when I say cross-body mountain climber, this is what you're thinking of, right? Here, let's do a cross-body mountain climber. Like that, right? You know what? That's basic. I don't like basic. So let's do something else. Let's do a cross-body mountain climber, and when that knee comes towards your left elbow, try to sit all the way down and push that foot all the way to the front. So bring your right foot all the way over there, Kick it all the way out right here, and then raise your left hand up, and then sit down on your butt, right there. So rotating all the way, looking all the way over there. Yeah, and then bring it all the way back. Sitting on your butt, good. So almost like this, look, right here. You're going right here, straight out, straight down. Straight out, straight down, right here. Almost like a break dancer. That's the thing with break dancers, that's why Break dancers are often very ripped. And another thing is, I should have told you this in video number one, body weight training keeps you honest. You know, it's cool if you weigh 300 pounds and you can lift 500 pounds, but relatively, you're not really that strong. It's all about your body weight versus how strong you are. Now that's the upper body portion of today's workout. Lower body, it's gonna be step ups. For this, you're gonna need a chair. Very simple. With this one, depending on your chair, uh, what kind of chair you have, uh, I would probably take your shoes off. You don't want to damage your furniture because your wife's going to get very upset or your husband, whatever. And just push your foot on top and just real step ups right here. Here's the trick about step ups though. You know how this is a very basic exercise? The thing is with step ups is that most people jump up too much. They jump up like that. Yeah, they're doing a step up in the technical sense of the word, but the real true step up, the real American step up, is to, yeah, let's come down right here slowly raise that foot up and then actually not even push to your toes right here, coming down. So get your toes up in the air. So now you get back down, so get your toes up in the air and then raising that heel off the ground. 
That's a lot harder, you see that? Now coming up, get those toes up, and then raise that heel off the ground. Uh, right there, a lot harder right there. I mean, doing it this way, eight to 10 reps, and uh, you will be finito. You feel the difference? Yes. Yeah. Single leg, Cossack squats. This one, I'll get on the carpet actually. Cossack squats, um, here I'll just demonstrate real quick. Go your feet nice and wide. Oh, because I'm wearing shoes, you're going to slip all over the place. Put your toes nice and warm, feet nice and wide. You can point your toes out. The thing is with Cossack squats is you come down one side and you come down the other side. Your second set is always going to be better. The first set, you come down and you're kind of finding your tightness, finding your limits on how low you can go. In your second set, you're going to kind of wake up your butt and your glutes and your inner thighs. You'll be able to go all the way down and almost have your calf touch the ground and then driving it back up. So that right there, 10, 15, the slower you go, the better. Now that right there was your mobility, your upper, lower. What are we going to finish off with? With abs coming up. So let's lay down on the ground. We're going to do wide out holds. Actually, sorry, let's get to a push-up position. So hands and toes on the ground. Put your feet nice and wide and put your hands nice and wide. A little wider and then point your fingers out like that, coming all the way down. Nothing's touching the ground except for your hands and your toes and just stay right there. Stay right there. Now this is one way to do it. This is actually kind of the easy way to do it. The harder way to do it is to put your hands way more straight. So way more straight, coming all the way down, even, way, even wider, even wider, even wider. Hold that right there for 10, nine, eight, seven. See how she's shaking? I don't know if you can see it through the camera. See this right here, she's all arching. If she's collapsing right here, is she gonna hold for another three more seconds? Who knows? Three, two, and one. All right, good. That's good, perfect. Now up next, you're gonna get back on your chair. Feeling your stomach? Yeah. All right, up next, you're gonna do chair side planks. Um, you can use the Australian towel right here. So get your elbow on something soft, and then you can put both feet on top of the chair right here, chair bench. You get into a side plank position. So get on that elbow, feet on top of each other, point your toes up towards you, flex everything. Try to have your hips touch the ground, and then all the way up right there. So try to break above, get your hips above your head, and then hips on the ground. Hold the chair. Yeah, let me hold the chair. So hold it up right here. Now here's the deal with these side planks. A lot of times, uh, people raise their right hand up in the air, like they're, or they're calling the waiter, or they're ordering another <laughs> round of food. You, that, that really doesn't do anything. Um, I mean, it, it you're, you're, you, doesn't mean you're a bad person, but it really doesn't do anything if you raise your hand up in the air on the side planks. Just a quick tip next time you work out. And that was it for today, guys. Do as many sets, as many reps as you want, but I recommend slow down your tempos, go a little slow. Three sets of every exercise. You can superset them with each other. 10, 12, 15 reps, boom, and stay tuned for Carotene Crusher workout number three.